what kind of data will we need to do the estimated mean for? Those of you who are here for lesson one, just pop in the, in the chat if you know what type of data. Is it grouped data or ungrouped data that we calculate the estimated mean for? Pop your answer in the chat. Okay, wonderful group data. That's right. Okay. So in our question here, we've got the number of learners. And it says the table shows a survey among learners to determine how many hours per week they spend watching TV. Okay, so let's now and I want you to quickly um, copy the table over and then let's see if we can calculate the estimated mean using our table. So for the estimated mean, we are going to need the midpoint. And then who else, who can remember what else we have to do for the estimated mean? If we have the midpoint, what do we do after that? Pop it in the chat as well, if you can remember. We're gonna calculate the midpoint. And then what do we do after that? Let's see if anyone can remember. We have to multiply the midpoint with something. What do we multiply? Okay, we find the frequency. It's related to the frequency. Lusanda, good try. Anyone else? I gave a big hint when I said we have to multiply two things together. What two things are we going to multiply? The class center, midpoint times frequency. Well done, Lonello. Midpoint times frequency, F times N. Oh, there we go. Everyone else is waking up as well. Okay, well done. All right. So I'm going to give you about three minutes to do that, to calculate the midpoint. So the midpoint, remember, we take the four and the seven. So we take the two. Um, the upper and the lower bounds of the class interval. So the four plus the seven and divided by two. So four plus seven equals divided by two. So I'm going to help you with this first one, but I think you'll be okay to get the others. So that's going to be five times five. And then we're going to go five times five times by 46. 5.5 times 46. And that's going to give us our first number okay so finish that we're going to check back in at about quarter past so you have about two minutes to finish this part of the question you can just draw a quick table there in your um, book i hope you have a book that says what toby is i imagine Everyone at home having a little book that says Watobi lessons. <laughs> Just for Watobi lessons. I think we should make that a thing. I like that. <laughs> okay, so my column. That I can. Okay, so while everyone's working, Kolalwa's got their hand up. Ivy says she's got a, a book, Muskoko. <laughs> 
Uh, yes, Kolawa, please unmute and ask your question. Um, good evening, ma'am. Hi there. Um, uh, I'd like to ask that how do you calculate the midpoint? Please repeat because I calculated a uh, four plus the seven divided by two, then it gave me another answer. Instead yeah, of so four plus seven equals divided by two. Remember to press an equal. Otherwise, it is probably dividing the seven on its own by two. So four um, plus seven equal, and that will give you the five point. Oh, okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Oh, Nazarene also has a book. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. So otherwise, Tobians, now you here, right? It's the thing to have a a book. Is there anyone else who's got a Watobi book? Pop it in the chat if you one of the, one of the people who has a designated Watobi book. <laughs> Kobe is like, duh. <laughs> nice, nice, everybody. <laughs> okay, Naku, you have your hand up. Hi, Inako. No, ma'am, it was to also say that I also have a book. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Lots of people with books. Okay, so I've started filling out my table. And you're welcome to check yours against mine um, to make sure that we all have the same answers before we do the actual calculation of the estimated mean. Okay, so we're going to go 8.5 times 140. So this is quite a long, tedious process um, to do this. Um, but that's one of those things, I guess. If we want the marks, we have to suffer through the pain. <laughs> that can be one of our means, Ms. Coco. <laughs> if you want the marks, suffer through the pain. <laughs> so maybe it's not that inspirational. <laughs> I'm still working on finding good looking um, meme pictures for those other memes that that we're gonna have. Hopefully by the next course we'll we'll have them together. And we'll be able to show you guys our our meme collection. <coughs> okay. So now we're gonna go to the next step. And I wonder if anyone remembers how to now find the estimated mean. <laughs> Looking for my calculator, but I find the TV remote instead. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> oh, very funny, Emilio. Very funny. <laughs> okay, so what Tobians are done. Let's add up and what are we going to add up and what are we going to divide by? We're going to add up the number of learners to get the total frequency. And we're going to add up this column, the F times M column, and we're going to divide it by the total frequency to get our estimated mean. Okay, so another two minutes to do that. <clears throat> Ms. Kaka, do you know that formula that Isibu Sile has 
put in the chat. Isibusili, you are teaching me something here with that formula. Okay, so Mokoko Bali and anyone else who didn't quite hear me, um, you need to add up the number of learners and you have to add up the F times M column and then you're going to divide the two to get the estimated mean, just like we did in lesson two. <coughs> Sure, Lerato is super fast. She's done with her mean. <laughs> I better catch up here. I'm definitely lagging behind. <laughs> Okay, if you're done, pop your estimated mean into the chat. Okay, so instead of writing done, just pop your chat in. <laughs> pop your mean into the chat. <laughs> I'm doing well today. <laughs> Okay, lots of people saying, okay, so I get the sum or the total of this column, six, seven, eight, two. <coughs> and then my other column, let's see, 140. Five seventy eight. Okay, so we're going to take the six seven eight two and divide it by the total frequency, and we should all get eleven point seven three six seven eight two divided by five seven two. Sorry, eight seven eight. is 11,73. Okay, well done everyone. That's a lot of work, but we got there. Well done. I see a lot of what Tobians popped in 11.73. Well done, excellent. But I see that we are 125 people. I wanna see 125 answers in the chat, guys, everyone must um, remember that thing about participating, pop your answer in the chat if you've got it. The Chandra asking, ma'am, does not matter which one you put on top? Absolutely. You have to take the F times M at the top and divide it by the total frequency. Okay, there's some more people waking up. Well done, welcome. Welcome to the party, the estimated mean party. You're in it, you got it, well done. Okay, so now what percentage of the learners, now we have to think, what percentage of the learners <clears throat> spend 10 hours or more watching TV per week? Well done, everyone. I see lots of answers now, excellent. What did I do? I, I made a mistake, Muskoko. You wrote two instead of four after the eight. Um, I fixed it. I think, I, yeah, I did fix it, okay. Phew. And okay, so let's go on to our next question. What percentage of learners spend 10 hours or more watching TV? How are we going to calculate that? What percentage of learners are watching 10 hours or more? Um, yeah, spending 10 hours or more watching TV. Who's got an idea? Tell us what you think, how you might want to answer this question. <clears throat> let's write down something that might be useful is the fact that our total number of learners is 578 so can anyone figure out how many of them watch 10 hours or more so before we worry about the percentage let's just try 
and see how many on uh, how many watch 10 hours or more. So Niyasha says we must add. Niyasha, tell us what we must add. Pop it in the chat if you've got it. Yeah, so Yuvika says 213. That's right. But those are not the only ones who watch 10 hours or more. Everyone who watches 10 hours or more must be included. Yes, Alwaba. Sorry, ma'am. I added the, the number of learners from 10 to 10 to 22, so I got 392. Excellent. And then did you carry on to calculate the percentage? Oh, I'll be working on that, ma'am. I didn't get that. Okay. Awesome. Well done, Alwaba. Leah, have you got something to add? Let's hear. Um, I am. I was Hi. thinking, like, if you um, add... Oh, sorry, Leah, I can't hear you. If you want to, you can chat or pop it in the chat, eh? I think maybe our internet is not so great. Niasha, share your ideas with us. And then I think we first, because we, we added from 10 hours, hours, and then we divided by the total of the hours uh, learners watch. Yes, good, good stuff. I'm sorry, Niasha, I really couldn't, uh, not Niasha, Leah, I couldn't um, hear what you were saying, unfortunately, but you're welcome to pop it in the chat for us. Um, okay, so what everyone is saying is we need to add all the, the lines from 10 hours upwards. So we go 213 plus 100 plus 60 plus 19. So 213 plus 100 plus 60 plus 19. And that gives me 213 plus 100 plus 60 plus 19, 392. And I think that's what Owawa said was 392. Now to get the actual percentage, pop it in the chat if you've worked it out. I see there are a few people who have worked it out. Well done. <coughs> <clears throat> we are going to divide it by the total and times it by 100. So the 392 divided by however many learners that are, which is the 578 times by 100. Okay, so Amakli, I think you just need to check what number you are dividing by you should be dividing not by 500, but by 578. Leah Luma, other way around. Okay. All right, let's see, 392 divided by 578, and that is 67,8. Percent. Okay. Excellent. Lots of answers coming in. That's excellent. What Tobians are taking this participation thing seriously. Good. <laughs> Good. Okay. One last look. I'm just going to leave it up for 10 more seconds. And then we are going to go on to our box and whisker plot. So, yeah, that's really really it for the estimated mean it's not really such a difficult thing um you just have to know your steps and know what it is that you're calculating and we are timesing by 100 because we are doing a percentage that's why okay i'll explain one more time we're gonna add it asks for all the learners that spend 10 or more hours watching tv so that's from this point here where the 10 is, this line. So there are 230 learners who watch between 10 and 13 hours of TV. And then the next one says between 13 and 16 hours of TV, that's 100, etc. 
So you just add up all of those, 213, 160, 19, et cetera. And that gives you a total of 392. We divide it by the overall total and we times by 100. Okay. Right, let's move on to our box and whisker plot and let's see what you can remember from our previous lesson about the box and whisker plot. Okay. So here we've got a box plot shows some information about the weights of tomatoes grown by a farmer. So just pop your answer in the chat. What is the maximum weight of a tomato? Pop it in the chat, read it off the box and whisker plot. What is the maximum weight? Hundred and eighty. 180, yes, well done, answer bomb, <laughs> well done. <laughs> okay, how do we know that? Because this value here is the maximum value on the box and whisker plots. Okay, remember the five number summary, those five numbers make the numbers that you plot on the box and whisker plot. Okay, what is the minimum weight? Again, just pop your answer in the chat. Minimum weight. Lots of answers coming in. Well done, that's 80. I agree, 80 grams. Okay, and then the next one, what is the lower quartile? Remember, this is our minimum value. What is the lower quartile? Wonderful, Watobians. You, you guys are doing excellent. Dropping those answers. Left, right, and center. So lower quartile is the 100. They are moving. These answers are moving so like lightning fast. I can't keep up with everyone. <laughs> That's <been> amazing. <laughs> okay, ready, steady for question D. What is the upper quartile? Go. <laughs> <laughs> 140 yay oh what am i writing i'm writing i'm writing something that's not 140 um 140 okay upper quartile okay and what is the interquartile range and go <laughs> Read the question, guys. <laughs> it's not 120. <laughs> we are not asking for the median. We are asking for the interquartile range. There we go. <laughs> 40. That's right. Well done, everybody. <laughs> How do we get the interquartile range? We take the upper quartile minus the lower quartile gives you the interquartile range which is 40, okay. Right, I think this is probably gonna be the last question we have time for. Oops, I shouldn't have moved it. Um, put it back where it was, okay. Okay, so this is one where we're gonna work on our own for a little bit again. So we've got 10 athletes are training for race. The distances in kilometers covered by athletes in one day are those numbers given okay and then there's a whole bunch of things we need to find and then we have to do the five number summary and draw a box and whisker plot uh, you get the interquartile range just subtracting the upper quartile minus the lower quartile that's all you have to do for the interquartile range Okay, so who can remember what is our first step here? What must we do? What is our first step? Pop it in the chat if you can remember. Oh, I've got some hands. Awesome. Cindy, what do you want to say? Um, first, you um, write the numbers in ascending order. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay, so Atobians, that's the first thing you're going to do. Write the numbers in um, ascending order and from there you can work okay so we're going to give it let's say your know, five minutes for you to um, do the whole question from 1.1 all the way down to 
Okay. Five minutes. Don't be shy to still ask questions in the chat or to raise your hand while everyone's working. Um. Ms. Coco, can you can you maybe tell me how I should move it? Because I can I can see the full screen, but so I'm not sure. Um, maybe Junior, you either need to zoom in or out if you're on a phone or something like that. Um, right. because on my laptop I see everything perfectly fine. Yeah, so maybe if you're on your yeah. phone, you just need to go left or right, also maybe yeah. or zoom or in or, or down. out. Yeah. yeah. Try zoom in or out, guys. <laughs> All good, no worries. <laughs> Can allow I am not sure how you can be done with everything. <laughs> you you have to be done with everything, including the box and whisker plots, eh? Guys, if you have questions, you're also welcome to um, DM Ms. Coco. Cool, oh, thanks. <laughs> Okay, if you're done, just check your work, go through it again. We're going to pop answers in the chat just now. A few more minutes.
Right, let's hear it. Pop your answer in the chat. What do you get for the mode? The mode is probably the easiest one. Mode is seven. Good job, everyone. Yes, that is seven. And then the median. I hope everyone got the median right. Look at these Watobians making no problem of the median. That's right. 7.5. How did we get 7,5? So we arranged the data 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8, 10, 14, and 26. Awaba, you can talk to me while I write this down. Um, you can unmute and let me know what, what's on your mind. Oh, sorry, ma'am. I wanted to explain on how I got my median. Okay, go for it. Let me, I'm about to do it. So you might as well tell us how you did it. First of all, ma'am, my, my formula for the median is N plus one divided by two. Okay. Which, which is our N with 10 numbers there on our data. Yeah. So I said, 10 plus one divided by two, it got me 5,5. And that mm. was my position for the median. Yes. So then the number that was between five and six was seven and eight. Yes. So I said seven, seven plus eight divided by two is equal to 7,5. Yes. Well that done. Okay. So you did it that way. That's perfect. As long as... <laughs> I'm sorry. Thanks for I muting was... me, Miss Coco. I was, I was trying to mute Awa, but I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just get the teacher to be quiet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, so what was said n plus one divided by two, so you get 5.5, .5, but remember that number is not the actual median, it is the position in the sequence of your data where the median is located. So you have to count one, two, three, four, five and a half. So it's halfway between the fifth and the sixth data value. So that is 15 divided by two that gives us seven and a half, okay? So make sure you don't make that mistake if you're using the formula. It often happens that um, your people um, think that that's the median. Okay, let's go. Q1, what is Q1, our low quartile? <clears throat> that is going to be seven. I, I fully agree with that. Upper quartile, let's pop that in the chat. Upper quartile next, 10. Well done, everybody. Upper quartile, lower quartile. And then lastly, our mean. The mean, add all the values together and divide by 10. Yes, lovely. If you got 98, you maybe forgot to divide by 10. So it's 9,8. And our range is the highest value minus the lowest value. Who can give us the range? All Watobians can give us the range. Well done. That's 21. 26 minus 5 is 21. Okay. Whew. Well done. That's excellent. I think we learned a lot in this course because I remember us starting off a few days ago feeling a little bit unsure of ourselves, but I think we've really um, made some progress. Okay, so the five number summary is our lower quartile, our upper quartile, our median, and our min and our max. Okay, so I'm just gonna write them down here. 7,5, we've already calculated all of these. So no need to redo them. We just need to list them as the five number summary. And then we need to go ahead and draw our box and whisker plot. 
Now remember, you are going to need a scaled line. So if you look at your data, um, yeah, it looks like, let's go up hmm, and fives, let's see five. No, let's go up and twos maybe. Two, four, six. That 26 is there, which is going to make the whole thing a little bit uh, long to do, but I think twos should be fine. <clears throat> Does anyone know what this 26 could possibly be called? Oh, there Nazarene says it's an outlier. Yes, 26 could potentially be an outlier. Well, it looks like it is an outlier. 18, 20, 22, 24, 24, and then one more little piece here. And that's going to be 26. Okay, so that's going to be where our max is. Our minimum value is at five. And our um, median, oh, we've got seven as our low quartile, seven. And our um, 10 is our upper quartile. And then our median is seven and a half, which is here. See, this is going to look really funny with this big data value that we've got over there. So you'll have this little box over here and then one long whisker going to the other side because it is an outlier. Yeah, so your box and whisker plot should look a little something like that.